For the past three years, I have worked Document December as I go, with no base pages created. This year, I tried something different and created my base pages so that all I have to add are the photos, the stories, and the journaling. I can make changes as I go. For the front cover, I like to keep it simple because this will go on a shelf. So all the items are from the kits and they're applied with a zip dry glue because it will, will adhere very well and stay on and not fall off. I haven't decided how to put 2014 on the cover or the spine, but I have made a welcoming page using one of the acrylic dividers. There's my 2014 down at the bottom. I will have more lessons on the on some of these pages and these techniques, but this video is just to show you the setup that I have created. I have left room for journaling, photos, if there's too many pockets filled with pattern papers or embellishments, I can change those, but at least I have those pages created. And as you can see, as you go through my album, I also have the canvas pages and more of the acrylic pages set up. And again, those will be part of another lesson, and I will show you how I made those. There are some die cuts in ephemera that I really liked and they may work well with these, these pages. So I'm going to save those and work those in later. But I want to at least have them in a pocket so that I, I can remember to grab those and use those. I love how my tassels came out and how the canvas and the acrylic pages came out. And again, a lot of these techniques that you see, if you see something and you're wondering how I did it, I will have lessons on how I made those pages. There will also be a lesson on the page protectors and how I created some of these sequence pockets and altered the pockets to have a different look to them. So that will be coming in another lesson. Nicole has made several die cuts that we can use with the silhouette and she has also made these 4x4 cards that fit inside the pockets. They add so much detail and, and interest to the pockets. I just really love what she has created. Thank you so much, Nicole. I really, really appreciate it. This card was made um, for the intention of gluing it and adhering it to the outside of the pocket. And this is just one of those little things that I made, and I'll be showing that in another video. But it may or may not work. I'm going to keep it in that pocket, and, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I can use it for another pocket. The pockets that come in the album, the, the page protectors, there's 24, so there's not enough for Christmas Day. So I used some of the tags that come with the kit, and I added those as part of 
the album and then I started to double up on some of the pockets. I know from doing Document December in the past there are days that are not that full of photos or sometimes it's just a story. So I know that this would work and as I go I can put the story or I can put the photos in those um, pockets that would fit. And here's a few more um, that I've made with the tags. I can use that. I can put a photo right there by the 18 and then on the back side I can add lots and lots of journaling. And since I'm working a hat, I'm, I don't know if I'll use the typewriter. I may have to take this apart and send it through the typewriter. Or a lot of times I will type on vellum. And then with the vellum, I can either stitch that in place, staple it in place, or just adhere it with my glue gun. For these last days leading up to Christmas, I'm going to leave a lot blank because there will be a lot going on or there may be days that happened earlier in the month that I can add more photos here. But especially uh, Christmas Eve, I want to have extra space for journaling and more photos. Christmas Day, I have, uh, because I doubled up on some of the days and used some of the tags to document the days, I now have three of the page protectors. So that's three pages, which would be six pockets that I can use for extra photos, extra journaling, any little extra detail um, that my daughter has done. And this will give me the option to do that. If I don't use them all, I could just use one of those protectors and cut it and use it in another spot throughout the album. I hope you've enjoyed taking a peek into my album structure and setup and that this inspires you maybe to also try to work ahead and get ready to document December. Thank you so much for joining me.